As the sun sets in Gaza, Palestinian captain Mohammed an Nahal sets out for another risky night of fishing under an Israeli blockade of the seas. Five months after the last war between Israel and armed groups in the Gaza Strip, Israel's navy has extended the Palestinian's fishing zone over which it has full control. But Nahal's crew does not venture that far. They let us fish for 15 nautical miles knowing that we don't have machines or engines that allow us to go that far. Six miles is their outer limit, good for sardines, but too close to the shore for bigger value fish such as tuna. Operating costs are crippling for the fishermen, who face hefty fuel prices and blockades on importing equipment into Gaza. This engine is not suitable for the sea. It's a Volvo engine. It's made for cars. But we fishermen tweak the engines to make them work on a boat. Thousands of families live off fishing here, where roughly half of the population is unemployed. But with all the boats forced into the same area, they worry about overfishing in shallow and polluted waters. As the lights of Gaza glow from afar, three vessels connect to an electric generator. We need lights to catch the fish and sardines. During the daylight, the fish are spread out in the sea, but at night, whenever they see our lights, they gather around because they think it's daytime and they come. As day dawns, these tired fishermen arrive at the port happy with their catch for about half a ton of baby sardines. Mahal's haul sells fast for 3,000 Israeli shekels, nearly $1,000. It's more than he'd hoped for, but it's barely profitable once his costs and crew's wages are deducted. Like Nahal, the traders on shore are also facing economic hardship. Here we can buy large shrimps, red snappers, mullets and groupers. These are very expensive and due to the economic situation here, we can't afford to buy one kilo of groupers for 90 shekels or a kilo of shrimps for 70 shekels. It's expensive because of the economic situation but we buy this fish to supply restaurants and to export. Seafood is a critical source of protein for many in impoverished Gaza. But with multiple challenges facing the industry, the fishermen remain caught in a nightly struggle to make ends meet.